the 49ers club champion. That's what's really, all about. really special, and that's what it's all about. And here we go. The finals underway. And Samoa's finest will have the ball first. And I think it's key that he goes down here and makes a statement in the opening drive. You don't want to play catch up versus Juan. Absolutely not. You need to set the tone of this game right now when you're on offense. You know, that doesn't mean he needs to go and throw a 60-yard bomb right now and try and beat him over the top if he's playing deep coverage. Take what he's giving you, but be aggressive about it. We know he likes to throw the ball. We know he wants to establish himself through the air. Go ahead and do that, I would say. If you're Samoa's finest, why not? You're on the biggest stage that you've played in your Madden career so far. The last thing you want to do is feel like you cheated yourself and you didn't go all the way with it. Got your roster set up. Substitutions ready. Set your audibles. It's time to go. First and 10 from the 30 for Samoa's finest. Really a nice guy. To super, be honest with super you. nice guy. Absolutely. First time meeting him for me today, yeah. but really just seems like a, an upstanding young man and had a chance to meet Brianna, his, his fiance as well, also a very nice, uh, nice woman. I noticed he said he was a fan of me, did not say the same to you. No, yeah, well, you know, that's par for the course, I would say <laughs> here as we walk around, uh, Scott, you're, you're, you're a fairly big deal here these days, and, and it, it makes a lot of sense. You're, you're the best in the biz, man. You're just, just throwing fake news out there. <laughs> just throwing, throwing it out there. I'll take it where I can get it. That's right. Second and six, here from the 34, Deshaun. Has an open D.D. Westbrook at the 45. Really like that route combination right there. That kind of deep in, that kind of actually turned into more of a post, kind of slant up the field right there. Really nice job clearing the zone to the right and finding the opening. I think that's Solid. the key is the rollout with Watson. Exactly. The user linebacker. We had a few folks come up to us here in San Francisco and says, what, what is a user? That's a great question. If you don't play Madden, the user is the, the player in the game that you are clicking onto and manually controlling when you're playing defense. Once the play starts, you'll see a little circle around the bottom of that player's feet. We call that the user. And that really is the determiner about what makes an elite Madden player on defense and what doesn't. The ability to use that player to another Madden term here, lurk routes, pretend yeah. like you're guarding one route, break down in the last second for a big pick or a big pass deflection. That's really part of the chess match that we talk about Madden being. How can I fake my opponent? How can I lull my opponent into a false sense of security? As we see Juan bringing his safeties up a little bit, making sure that run is not gonna be a problem for him. Even at a gun bunch, not usually a running formation. So after the timeout, by Monsta. Second and 10. Watson will throw this one away and he'll face a third. And you know when a guy with 90 speed like Deshaun Watson is struggling to get outside, Juan is screaming at him. He is absolutely bringing some really, really good pressure right now, forcing him into a first really big play of this drive, I would say. We were talking with some of the Madden heads that are hanging out around here. And they're saying, you know, that 4-3-3 stack that's being run by Juan. Gonna get a lot of block sheds on the outside. And Kenyon Drake, loss of two. And now I'm sure he'll go for it, fourth and 12. We talked about in Madden, you have a lack of possessions. Gotta yep. make them all count. You know, and even if it's a fourth and 10, fourth and 12, fourth and 15, you're gonna see Madden players going for it. They feel confident that they can get those routes right to the first down line. Make something happen here, big play. And a loop blitz, and Anthony Barr, it's a turnover on downs. We've been seeing that all year, haven't we, Scott? That loop blitz, it is really, really effective. Juan just emotionless, just cold right now, ready to do work. Now I think he is about to get into where he feels comfortable on the offensive side of the ball. He can start to implement what he wants to do. So first and 10 from the 46. That's where Monster will go to work. We'll hand it off. A nice job by Jones. It's gonna be a gain of two. And we see right there, we talked about this in the second semifinal game. He pops into his coaching adjustments, puts that ball carrier on conservative, doesn't want to lose a game of this magnitude because he's trying to get fancy and the ball pops free. Now we were thinking that for Masta, his game earlier against Splashman, he might have been on aggressive the whole game from a defensive line standpoint. You know, and you get into a game, it's a big game. Some of those little things can escape your mind and come back to be a heartbreak. I think that's where experience and having been here before is where that really, really comes to play. 
Monster's not gonna shrink because he's on this stage. He's not gonna miss the details like that. Somebody like Splashman in our second semifinal, his first time doing this, it might slip through the cracks. Nice rush down to the eight yard line already, first and goal for Monster. Juan running that deuce close effectively, finding his running lanes, having some pretty decent stick work with, of course, the 77 overall Austin Eckler. Who? Yeah, you said it. First and goal from the eight. This is the finals of the 49er Club Championship. Deshaun Watson. And T. Smart will grab him in the backfield. That's my Ram right there. But that's something where I think with Deshaun Watson, if, if you're not making your read right away, two, maybe two, maybe, maybe three seconds, you have the speed, you have the ability to extend the play and get outside the pocket. I think you got to look to do that as much as possible. Even when you're in the red zone, there's not as much space to work with. This is a 60 overall. Tanzel Smart in there making plays. This time it's Vaughn Miller. In there with the tackle, third and goal. Ball at the 14. If you get to hold him to three here, that's a big win. Huge win, absolutely. Uh, having the red zone defense stand up, especially on this early on in the ball game, that would be a really, really big win here for Samoa's finest. Bunch to the right, Jackson, that's Bo. Solo to the left. Deshaun, they pick up the blitz. There you go. He's gonna use his legs. And you saw him trying to fade back. Maybe seeing if A would come open, didn't happen. Yeah, when you're this down close, this close down to the goal line, this early on in the game, on the run with a, a young quarterback, even a quarterback who is a 95, you don't want to force that throw, I don't think. That's, that's a smart play right there. And take your three and go play some defense. And Bo Jackson, yes, Bo Jackson. Kicker Bo. Will, will kick it through <laughs> for the field goal. It's a, uh, don't see the neck roll on the kicker <laughs> very often, but. I think on the day, Bo is like four for four, five for five. He's looked pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty tough. And so it's a field goal lead. I don't know if he chose Bo as a kicker just to troll us yeah. or... <laughs> but he is 91 overall and, you know, with, with a cap of 24, mm -hmm. you know, it could come down to a last second kick. I mean, we saw last year, I hate to bring it up, you know, Ghost Madden that... Field goal kicking and having a kicker that's reliable that you can count on in those clutch situations, it absolutely is going to be a factor for someone down this club championship. Samoa's finest forcing it into coverage. Anthony Barr was there. Monster's defenses look good. He's, he's, he's really taking away a lot of passing options. Like he said before the semifinal game, he's going to trust in Bruce Smith. He's going to trust in Joey Bosa to get pressure. He's going to drop into a lot of zone coverage, and he's going to force him to make good reads like that. And Randy Moss will make it a third and short. You're right, a lot of times he's only bringing three or four guys. Yeah, he wants to trust in that, in that secondary, trust in that front four. Let's see if he tests the user there. Boy, he had a one-on-one -on -one situation with the user and didn't want to test Monster. What I was taught was you don't throw at the user. <laughs> Especially when it's guys of this level, you know that they're gonna be holding wide, they're gonna be trying to make a play. A really interesting decision now here on fourth and four to see what he's gonna come up with here. Trailing by the field goal, ball spotted at the 42. Fourth down, he needs four to keep the drive alive. Watson throws it and it's picked off. And this could be a return. Yeah. And he's lucky to stop Ed Reed from taking it all the way back to the house. And right on cue, we're talking about him only trusting in the line. He comes with the spinner blitz, forces a bad throw. Look at all those secondary guys coming in. And yeah, when you have Ed Reed hanging out back there, you don't want to be just tossing balls down the middle of the field. I think he was upset. He thought he could have taken this back to the crit. He wanted to get a little more sticky with that return. He'll just have to live with the turnover. Niles Paul made the tackle to save the touchdown. And once again, that's Jones, Madden Harvest, Dequan Jones making another big play. Yeah, another instance where I would have liked to see Deshaun kind of get outside the pocket, escape that thing, show a little bit of QB stick ability right there. But, you know, Juan, I think, is, is in a really good spot right now. He doesn't feel like he needs to force anything. He feels like on defense, 
he's pretty much boxed up everything that Samoa is trying to do. So I think that right now, take it in the second quarter, Monsta is exactly where he wants to be in this game. Pretty laid back, you know. I, I'm 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 more like Samoa's finest. I'm leaning in. I'm my face is is very close to the TV. Sure. Monsta is all laid back. He's. It's just a Very Sunday relaxed. afternoon. It's just a yeah. Sunday afternoon here for for one. Third and fourteen for Monsta. Picks oh, up. There it oh, is. it's going to be picked. Can he get a block? Bo Jackson blocks somebody. Wow. And Barr. With an interception this time for Samoas. Come we, on, Bo. We talked about, yeah, Bo, come on. Let's decleat somebody on that block. But we talked about the height of Anthony Barr too much. Any kind of crossing route like that is going to be really tough to execute over that, that, that Anthony Barr card right there. So a little life for Samoas Finest, who's now in field goal range, could tie it or take the lead. Yeah, that's a huge momentum play right there. I think for the first time, we might see Samoa kind of loosen up a little bit. You know, he seemed loose from the get-go in his first semifinal game. He seemed a little bit tight here in this first uh, this first half here of this final. Hopefully that turnover right there can kind of kickstart the offense a little bit, start getting outside the pocket with Deshaun and making some things happen. Yeah, he, right. I mean, I felt I felt he was loose between games. He came up to you, wanna want to talk some shoe game with me? Yeah, we, he did. We did a little of that. I know his fiance has some, some sevens on hanging out there, so big Jordan fan. And he also has a huge opportunity here. If he can win this first monster, not only would it be an upset, but they would be going to Disney World. <laughs> literally, <laughs> right. literally. And if you uh, if you take home this overall NFL Club Championship, you're taking home 150,000 ish dollars in that yeah. range. You can buy yourself a few pairs of Jays <laughs> with that kind of money. So I think he is. I got a few. I would in. sell them. I would sell them. If, there you go. That's right. If if he if he would come up with the cash, I'd be ready. That's the, the economist, the businessman, <laughs> Scott Cole, always, always on top of it. It's going to bring up a third down from the 19. Both these guys using some, well, I wouldn't call them very talented running backs as far <laughs> as what you have to choose from. Shady McCoys, the Bo Jacksons, Barry Sanders, guys like that. He has Kenyon Drake. Wow. Low throw to the one. First and goal, and Masa can't believe it. Talk about threading the needle right there. That made it through all kinds of sets of hands right there. That's, uh, he's, he looked over at one and said, that's a dot. Had to let him know after it happened. And he pitches it to the outside, and he's going to lose four yards. Can't have it. You were talking, Scott, about the lack of high cap, high overall for the running backs we're seeing today. One of the consequences of having the cap at 825 instead of 900, you have to make some tough decisions about where you want to spend that cap. I think for both of these guys, we see the halfback position being a place where they kind of, they skimped a little bit, but that worked out okay, I guess. I say less pitch, he <laughs> says more pitch. And it's a touchdown for Samoa's finest. So all of a sudden, the underdog has a four point lead. All right, now this drive is going to be important to see where Monsta's head is at. He comes out, he runs his scheme, he does what he needs to do, and doesn't panic, he'll be fine. If we see him try and change things up too much right here, we try and play outside of his game, I think it's possible that Samoa's maybe in his head a little bit. This first half has been okay for Monster, but not necessarily the best case scenario, although. Slay with some room. And that's why you kick it, a scum kick. Archie doesn't like it, but he takes it to the 44. You kick it deep, and you open yourself up for a return. You run the risk of Darius Slay making you look silly if you kick it deep like that. Getting the ball all the way across midfield. Huge special teams play right there. Play action goes right back to the running back. That's a first down at the 32. So the big gain on the return and then a quick first down. Very nice. The momentum right back. We can see the monster was unaffected by that touchdown. He's going to keep running his scheme, keep his offense rolling. We've seen that PA cross play a lot. He's making sure that that, that, that flat is still open to throw down to Eckler after he fakes the handoff. We mentioned at the top of the game, we knew that Juan was going to move the ball. At this point, as we end the first half, moving almost into the second half, I'm interested to see what Samoa's adjustments are going to be. If he's going to start bringing more guys into the middle of the field to counter against that HB Wham play. If he's going to start doing some guys into some hard flats to take away that little running back dump off. Got to make some kind of adjustment here. Got him stacked up to the left. 
Double tight end to the right here on second and seven. That's going to get us to the two-minute warning. His math was better than mine. <laughs> I think the, the clock management of Madden pro Madden players is comparable, if not better, to NFL coaches. And watching the, the Chiefs game uh, this past weekend, I think you can... Yeah, that's a case in point situation right there. Well, third and eight. And part of this first half has flown by. A lot of running, a lot of completions, efficient offense. Pretty good defense. Does seem to move him pretty quickly here. Samoa's finest said he was listening to a little bit of Drake. He said he had some local guys that he was that he was rocking out to. Whatever, get, whatever gets you feeling good. Yeah. Whatever feeling gets you glitchy, as as uh, as Monster would say. Watson finds Bo Jackson to the 14-yard line. Both these guys with two timeouts. This is an eternity still inside the red zone. Juan actually wants to be conscious here. He doesn't really need to force it. He doesn't need the clock to keep moving. Or excuse me, he doesn't want the clock to stop necessarily. He can keep that clock moving. Doesn't want to give uh, Samoa a ton of time left on the clock when he gets the ball back to end this first half. He might run this play clock down to one. I think so too. Oh, no, there he goes. Hands it off on a little delay. It's going to be second and five at the nine yard line for that man right there, FB Monster. The man from Tracy, California. Got all kinds of friends and family tuning in, supporting him today. Won it last year and Won actually had a year. really good showing. Made yeah. it to the final four. Of course, that was eight teams. There's, that was a little bit gonna different. It's going to be 32 this year waiting for him in Orlando. High snap. And that allows Von Miller to get in the backfield. We talk about last year's club championship, last year the club series, Killer Mike for the Seattle Seahawks, taking the championship home last year, and then winning it again this year to be the Seahawks representative. Those kinds of stories are gonna be awesome, kind of transitioning into Orlando after this game. Watson finds Jordan Reed, or is that, Ed, uh, excuse me, that's Andre Reed. It's a nice play. Monster looking over at us and letting us know that that's a glitchy dot. He's going to let us know every single time that it happens. And I appreciate that about the young man. Absolutely. A little low throw in the end zone. And just like that, FMB Monster has the lead. Of course, FMB's his crew. That's right. Those guys hey. out there rooting him on. Only famous Madden ballers, if I'm not mistaken. And one of my favorite parts about the Madden community as well, the, the different crews that are kind of floating around and, and, and now this websites and eBooks and all sure. different types of stuff kind of coming from what are really, I think, just authentic and awesome friendships that then kind of develop into these really great Madden, uh, Madden crews. So first and 10. This could be a big drive, 51 seconds. You at least want to try to tie this thing up at the half. Nice job. Finds Randy Moss, and that'll pick up the first down. Clock on the move. Good adjustment going to Max Protect right there. Red, red blitz. Got the ball out of his hands quickly on a little slant route. Very nice job. Watson, 35 seconds. Has all day. Will take off and smartly slides down at the 50. But that clock is tick, tick, ticking away. Yeah, I was, wasn't quite sure he was going to get down in time right there. He really tried to get every yard he could with Deshaun Watson. You know, especially in this year of Madden, if you're going to get hit stick as a quarterback, uh, real likely that ball's coming out. Got to throw it away here. And he's going to have to use a timeout. His final timeout. Really? Boy, if he could have thrown it away, he could have saved some time. Exactly right. That's why that play is so backbreaking right there. No timeouts left on his own 38. Got to have something to the sidelines now. Pretty much taking the middle of the field away from him unless he wants to try and get a completion around midfield, get up and spike the ball maybe. But, you know, that was a huge sack from, uh, from Monster right there. We'll hand it off to Drake. And take this thing into the locker room. Only trailing by a field goal to Monsta. 
So you're feeling pretty good. You had the opening drive, you had the lead, but Monster fought through in this second quarter and has come back to take a 10-7 lead over Samoa's Finest. Yeah, I think if you told Samoa's Finest before this game started, you'd be down three against Monsta at the half. I think he would have taken that. I don't think this is by any means, an, uh, the game is over by any means. I think that there was a lot of football left to play. Samoa's actually shown a little bit of, uh, of toughness on defense, shown the ability to move the ball on his own. I think Monsta's feeling comfortable. He's in a good spot. He knows that he should be winning. I don't think Samoa's out of this by any stretch. I think this is going to be a really entertaining second half. Yeah, both these guys have used Anthony Barr to lurk. Two interceptions, just a three-point game. So it's going to come down to taking care of the, of the boss. Always say, if you don't take care of the onion, it'll make you cry. That's right. And, you know, that was something that Samoa's finest said from the get-go this morning. Yeah. Limit turnovers, play run defense. That's pretty much a recipe for success in Madden football, if you can actually execute on that. Let's take a look at the first half highlights here between Monsta and Samoa's finest. It started off with some... Big sacks, that was a turnover on downs. Yeah, a little defense from Monster right there. Really, really nice uh, pressure on fourth down. Use Bo Jackson to kick it through. And then the interception by Anthony Barr. And for the love of all things holy, <laughs> make a block, Bo Jackson. This could end up being actually a huge play in this game. The fact that that didn't turn into six on the interception. Yeah, Bo's got to hit somebody. There. Of course, he would go down there and on the second pitch in the red zone. Would, would punch it in, took a lead, seven to three. And Monsta would fight back though. Monsta doing what he does, plenty of time in the pocket. Low throw to the end zone. It's a glitchy dot. He's fired <laughs> up about it, letting it, like everybody in here know. I think it's been back and forth. We've seen a lot of good offense. We've seen a lot of good pressure on defense. I just love watching Juan do his thing. Isn't it fun to see him up there yeah. just kind of capping at people, doing what he does? I, I, I'm a big fan. It was a low throw, glitchy to <laughs> The legend, Andre Reed, and that's what put him up 10-7 here. The other thing, he's going to get the ball to start the second half. So you got to come out and have that stop mentality. Even hold him to three would be big. Yeah, anything but a touchdown is okay. Uh, but yeah, you're right. Having Moss to get the ball back to start the second half, really unfortunate for Samoa, but this is what you're going to have to do to win a championship. You know you have to go through Juan. You know that you're going to have to face some adversity. This is it right here. Time to stand up on defense, make a huge stop right now. All right. We're not going to make you wait for it any longer. It's the second half kickoff coming your way here live from Levi Stadium. We are 10 minutes away from crowning the next 49ers club champion. You talk about Killer Mike able to do it for the Seahawks back to back. Could FMB Monster be the second player to do it? I think he can. I mean, I think he feels like if anything but that happens, then he let himself down right now. And he, you know, there's been some pressure as we see here, but, you know, he has played his style of game to a certain extent. He's run the ball a little bit, hasn't been able to kind of just chuck the ball deep to Bo Jackson like we saw in the second semifinal game against uh, Splash Man. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm interested to see him adopt a little bit more of a clock management position. Don't be conservative, but just be smart with the football here. He's completed all his passes. One time, though, it was to Anthony Barr on the other team. And he picks up the first down here at the 47. 28 yards now on the ground. I know as a, as a Niner fan, as a Northern slash Central California native, opportunity to represent the 49ers again as a two-time champion for them is really, really special to Monster. Ohio, Ohio. New set of downs. Here on the opening drive of the second half, has a three-point lead. Once again, Eekler. It's time he's bottled up for a loss. The run out of the shotgun bunch. You don't see that as much. Normally more of a passing formation, but, you know, Monster's just trying to keep him honest. Running out of some, uh, some unconventional stuff here. Bunch to the left, solo right. Watson gets rid of it, threw it into coverage. And it was nearly picked off. That was Rondé Barber who had it in his mitts. I was ready to hear glitchy dot if that one if that one somehow got uh, got completed right there. But yeah, like you said, Rondé Barber, big big play right there. A little bit of tough grab. Third and eleven. Bunch of traffic over there on the left side. A little fake snap to test. The Smart. coaching adjustments. Watson, low throw. It's wow. glitchy. Wow. Bo Jackson. How about the hands on that guy, Scott? My goodness. 
And you notice he threw that ball as he was coming out of his break. That was actually a well-timed throw. He turned around after he made his break, ball in his hands. Man, hanging on after those two big hits, though, that's something else. Once again, grinding with the ground game. That'll pick up two. It'll be second and eight. He's Mon using the clock here on yeah, this opening drive. Exactly right. If Monster can use up pretty much all of the third quarter, even get into the fourth quarter with his first drive, even if it ends up as only three, I think he'd be very happy with that and feel like he's sitting in a pretty good spot. Sean Watson now seven of nine. We've already had two minutes go by here in the third. Looking to go up by two possessions with a touchdown. Back to the ground. This time he runs into Bo Jackson on the other side. <laughs> the guy's Trying everywhere. to keep up with Bo Jackson here. He's everywhere. The guy does it all. And that's the situation, that kind of run. If you see that kind of space with a, with a Barry Sanders or with a, with a Todd Gurley, that's trouble right there. That's where having that low overall, low cap running back kind of backfires just a little bit. Bo Jackson in motion. High snap. Delayed handoff. And Joey Bosa sort of got lost there. Yeah, nice little stick work, kind of almost a little bit of a delay. Looked like he was going to cut it outside, kind of turned it upside, uh, uh, upfield just a little bit. Pretty decent run on second down there. Third and two. Three-point game here in the final. Bunch to the left. Oh, and we got some movement up front. And it's Von Miller in the neutral zone, so first down. And we saw that at the major, our last major that we had out in Burbank. Guys are going to test that to make sure that you don't have just keep your front four on aggressive all game. They're going to do the fake snap, hitting that RB button on the top of your Xbox controller, just making sure that you're not going to be screaming at somebody all game long. Really nice job right there on the, on the third down. So first and 10 at the 14, two minutes to go in the quarter. Split backs, he's gonna hand it off again. And that'll move it down to the 10 yard line, so second and six. Running out of some unconventional formations. Yeah, and 14 rush attempts for Monster. If you had asked me an over under on rush attempts, <laughs> I would not have been double digits for him. He told me he wanted to throw the ball, he wanted to dot people up. I think he recognizes that Samoa does have some pretty decent pass defense. Taking, taking what is given to him, Monster's looking pretty good in this third quarter. Good wrap up there by Anthony Barr, and he's going to go quick on him here. Third and two. Interesting call here to go with the no huddle. Trying to pinch that line on third and two. You got to bring your safeties down. I think so, too. On a third and two. Oh, and there's a big hit. That's Anthony Barr again. And now we got some decisions to make. You kick the field goal, you go up six. You've had pretty decent defense against Samoa all day. But if you're a professional Madden player, and it's fourth and one, fourth and two, I think you gotta believe that you can go get this. Juan's gonna trust the D. And Bo Jackson kicks it through. <laughs> it, <laughs> just defense, feel, it just doesn't feel good to me. Special teams, <laughs> I mean, you know, you got elbow pads and a neck roll to go kick the football, why not? Kicking is very dangerous, man. <laughs> He might get run over on one of these returns, maybe, but here we go. Tinker. Thank you. We'll take it to the 29. Yeah, we've gone from the one bar, <laughs> guys not wearing pads, to full on Bo Jackson neck roll. Got the full equipment there. The, the thing we need next is the, the half shirt so we can get a little <laughs> bit of a the midriff exposed so we get the full 80s uh, football player uh, uniform complete. First and 10. Six-point game. Watson. Boy, that's a dangerous pass to only pick up five yards. I was waiting for him to throw that ball away and across your body, like you said, into tight coverage right there. Fortunate that he had, you know, that little guy named Randy Moss out there hauling in the ball for him. That is the 87 version of Randy Moss who cost you 43 salary cap. So not the full 94 most feared. That'll no, cost you 75 to that's, run that one. That's a lot of cap. <laughs> well, we saw Volterax use 10% of his cap on, on that Randy Moss and win the Arizona Club Series. And that comeback started 
on a throw to Randy Moss into triple coverage into the end zone that, you know, somehow he pulled down and it worked out. So that's what's so fun about this mode, Scott, is you really yeah. get to have different approaches to how you want to build a team. If you want to focus on offense, defense, secondary, uh, front seven, it's, it's really anything you want to do, you can tailor your team to your play style. I think that's why a lot of the competitive guys, this is the mode that they love to play. Just six of 11 in the passing game. Perhaps the final play of the third quarter here in the finals for the 49er Club Championship. Nine seconds to go. Second and 10. A little audible. And he'll run the inside zone. And you can put your fours up here in Santa Clara. We're going to the fourth quarter with just a six point game. Pretty good ball game so far. Really, that third quarter was controlled by Monsta. He had that really long, prolific drive right there. Right now, you talk about put up or shut up time. You talk about this is your chance to prove yourself on a stage. This is it. For Samoa's finest, he has a chance to take down the favorite, take down the current reigning 49ers club champion. Big, big play right here. Needs seven to move the chains. Got to get rid of it. <laughs> and we'll throw it away on fourth and seven. You got to go. You got to go for it. You absolutely have to go for it. This right now, if he doesn't get it, turning the ball over on his own 45. You know, it's not the worst field possession in the world, but it's probably going to be too close because if Monster just gets down into field goal range, kicks that field goal, it will become a two possession game. With the amount of time left in the fourth quarter, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for Samoa's finest to put something together. Yeah, convention of wisdom would say to punt it here. But in Madden football, you got to go. Absolutely. Trust yourself right now. Bunch to the left. Got to pick up that heat, and he won't. It's that man again. Bruce Scott Smith. Cole. <laughs> Bruce Smith, we've seen him block kicks. He's abusing quarterbacks. Absolutely the biggest defensive play of the entire day there for Monster. He's keeping it cool, but I think inside, he's, he's freaking out a little bit right now. Well, he's, he's had two out. former Buffalo Bill legends Andre Reed and Bruce Smith make some big plays today. Small consolation for the Bills fans out there. A tough loss in the in the playoff game earlier today. At least Bruce Smith is handling business in that. First and 10 at the 34. Well, you need a sack. You need to push him out of field goal range. There it is. All right. Now back him up to the 39. Von Miller with his third tackle of the game. You should keep telling him what to do. If you need a sack, <laughs> just tell him to get a sack and he'll do it for you right there. Absolutely right. Getting him out of field goal range, potentially right on that cusp of it, but there comes the run. Yeah, I mean, Monster right now, this is going to be a big play as well, determining how much he wants to go to try and put six on the board and put the nail in the coffin, or if he wants to just settle for three potentially, D up like he has been all game. Well, Bo Jackson, not sure his range. He's a 91 overall, 24 salary. And it's third and 12. Got Sourdough joining us up here in the booth. Special guest appearance here. <laughs> the VIP. That's our guy. Fourth and nine. Well, we've had a great time today. Oh, absolutely. We've said this a lot. Class organization. Just just really. Well, top to bottom. Absolutely. Sure. Every, every single person here has just been truly, truly great. And he's mocking me, but I love it. <laughs> Fourth and nine, the kick. 50-yarder. No. And Bo Jackson. No problem. Is the MVP. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Bo Jackson will kick, he'll throw, he'll block. Well, not quite block sometimes, but he'll do most things out there. Bo Jackson is handling business. And so now it's a nine-point game. This one definitely not out of a reach, but now you need two scores. Not out of reach by any stretch. Three timeouts, four minutes left. I mean, we got plenty, plenty of time here. That being said, we're looking at 67 total yards of offense so far. You know, he's got to get something going right now. This is this is really the drive where it needs to happen, and it starts like so many drives have today. Big sack. Bruce Smith with his second sack of the game here in the final. Monsta's game plan, I mean, really has worked. He's, he's playing cover two. That's nothing crazy right there. He's playing cover two. He's letting his front four rush. Just those ends are just too much to handle. Bruce Smith and Bosa are just really, really, really something else. Second and 18. 
Time starting to become a factor here for Samoa's finest. <laughs> and another risky pass to Randy Moss, and he's going to go quick here. See, for me, you don't you don't gain much by by going hurry up. Absolutely. The only thing that the advantage is you lock sort of the defense into their personnel. But that was a defense that just held you to a three yard pass that was almost intercepted. You know, I mean, I, I don't necessarily think he saw a mismatch or, or a disadvantage out there on the defensive side. Maybe he's got one cooked up here on this third and 14. Has some time, throws on the run, and Paul Kraus had it in his mitts. One more down here for Samoa's Finest. What did we say about throwing at Paul Kraus <laughs> earlier today? Not a great idea. Not usually. recommended. No, definitely not. Four or five doctors don't recommend <laughs> throwing near Paul Kraus. And the fifth one is a Packers fan, yes. so we'll forget about him, yeah. This might be the ball game right here, Scott. This is, he's really, really got to convert this right here if he's going to have any chance right here. Needs 14. Keep this game alive. Watson all day. He had A for a moment. He did. He did. For a millisecond. Yeah. And Ed Reed might have put this game in the fridge. I think he did. And, you know, that's something, again, we see the way that Mosta has established his defensive presence all game. He's been sending, getting pressure without sending heat. When he does send heat, it's been effective. He forced uh, Samoa's finest to, to go max coverage there on a big fourth down. He only had three receivers out in the field trying to get open. Ed Reed is just, he's just too good. You know, he's, he's, he's going to pick that off 10 times out of 10. Really nothing open. Hey, I was talking about A, but there's really nothing open on their own coverage. Good block on the outside, and that puts him into field goal range. When you've got three receivers out on routes, and he hasn't blitzed that many guys, he's only sending maybe four or five guys. Yeah, three on eight. That's going to be, yeah, I'm no mathematician here, but, you know, that's going to be difficult. And now he's going to work that clock. Could Monster be looking at his second straight 49ers club championship gonna represent the 49ers in Orlando if he can hold on super impressive performance by him today no matter what to come in with those expectations to come in with everybody gunning for you they know that you're the guy to beat to show up and have a dominant performance like he did in the semis and to show up here and really just D up and run the football really really well in this final it's been impressive I think he's earned it absolutely it's gonna bring up a third and three timeout here by Samoa's finest just to stop the clock. And now he's going to need some magic. Absolutely. Turnover, some kind of, some kind of something to break his way on offense. You know, eventually he's going to need a, an onside kick, most likely, to recover, to get himself back into this thing. It's not impossible. We've seen it happen before. We've seen all kinds of crazy stuff happen before. It all starts right here with this big stop on third down. So the two-minute warning, he didn't use a timeout. Clock hit the two-minute warning. Three timeouts apiece. So you get a stop here. And I think you don't use a timeout. You don't use a timeout. You want to force them to kick, because then you have the opportunity, if you can get a quick score, you don't have to maybe go for the onside kick. Exactly. If you can keep all three timeouts, you almost always want to try and do that. It's going to come down to him trying to get a stop again, though. I mean, that was a nice job on third down right there to, to send the house and kind of stop the run right there. But... Yeah, this is still this is still going to be an uphill battle, no doubt. He's going to get the ball back with about a minute 30, a little less than a minute 30 left. To not use any timeouts and move the ball down the field is going to be really tricky. I think he might use a timeout here on one side. Yep. So he uses the entire play clock. And now Bo Jackson, of course, the most famous kicker in the history of <laughs> the National Football League. Kicker of the year. I mean, really, like, look at this guy. <laughs> And it's automatic right down Main Street and now the lead is 12 so he's going to need two touchdowns to form the miracle comeback it all starts right now it's going to have to be something deep down the field this is where you probably are you are going to have to go no huddle and you're going to have to use whatever formation you choose in the start of this start of this drive hopefully it'll be able to carry you all the way through until you can at least cross midfield cross midfield get into the red zone you know, for, for, for Samoa, his offense has never really seemed to click here in the final. Never really got some, some movement, some, some rhythm going with his offense. 
Right now, it's, it's now or never for him. Big block. Watson's gonna try to run. Ooh. And hello, have you met Paul Krause? <laughs> he'll pass, he'll, he'll, he'll deflect your pass. He'll knock your block off. This guy does everything. That's the 89 overall Paul Krause, free safety. Minute to go. And Randy Moss makes a man miss. And now to the 46. And now you start to get to the point where I think you got to use timeouts. Because even if you even if you you can't stop him, you know what I mean. You, you got to start conserving some of that clock if you can score and get an onside kick. Yeah, if you score with four or five seconds left, it doesn't really do you a whole lot of good. You need to leave yourself enough time to at least try get that onside kick and, and get the ball downfield once more, one more time. Yeah, next big play you have in the middle of the field. Got to take. Got to think about yeah, using that timeout. I, I agree. I definitely agree. No, that's not the. That's not what needed to be happening right I, there. I burned a timeout right there. Smart decision by Samoa's finest, trailing by 12. Just a few seconds left in this one. Yeah, it's it's, it's counting down. I know Juan can anticipate this thing. He's he's played a complete game here. He, he's really hasn't had to do too much on offense. He's played smart. The defense has really been the impressive thing for for Juan. I think when he gets down to Orlando, if he can pull this thing out. He's going to really kind of bring that to the forefront when he's playing against the other elite club champions. Third and 18, Paul Richardson tries to make a man miss. And here it is, fourth in the game. Got to have it right here. And Sean Watson playing coverage again. And that will do it. Really, really, I can't say enough about the defense of Juan, truly, in this yeah. championship game. I mean, he really, Samoa's finest coming out of that first semifinal game was on fire. He looked really good on offense, really moved the ball pretty much effortlessly. Tip of the cap to, to Juan, to FMB Monster for just showing up, playing a heck of a game on defense. And Samoa will not use his final timeouts. And that will be the end of the road for him today. It's going to be FMB Monster who's going to represent your San Francisco 49ers in Orlando at the Pro Bowl. Back to back. 49ers champ is FMB Monster. Yeah, huge congratulations to, to Juan Velasquez, FMB Monster. Showed up as the favorite, showed up with crazy high expectations. Everybody who was playing in this tournament, everybody who was watching this tournament expected him to win. That's a really difficult situation to do well in. It looked almost too easy for him at times. Yeah, he came down to a few plays, settled for field goals, but making those field goals ended up being the difference. Yeah, and you know, sometimes when you get into those big games, kind of like in the NFL, you get to the playoffs, let's be smart with the ball. Let's control the possession. Let's control the field possession. Let's control, yeah. you know, taking that three, maybe instead of forcing it, he had a fourth and two where he could have gone yeah, for well, it. Yeah, well, you saw him win a different way. Exactly. With running and field goals for a guy that normally just throws it carelessly around the yard. And I think that that's actually a huge step in the evolution uh, of Juan's game. You know, he, he's not going to be looked at as a one-trick yeah. pony, not as a guy who's just going to be ag-catching into triple coverage all the time. <laughs> you know, he showed that he can play some D. He can he can have a front four that's going to get pressure without having to blitz six or seven guys every down. Well, he did it two ways. In the semifinal, he did absolutely throw some bombs on Splash Man. But here in the finals, grinded it out and was able to get the victory. And he's going to get a nice check. Yeah. Gonna get to hang out with sourdough. Everybody <laughs> wants to hang out with sourdough. Come on. That's the real win here. I mean, if you get to hang out with sourdough, that's who needs a check or points. Let's kick it with the mascot. Yeah, let's go down to Joe Fan with a winner. Hey, Juan, congratulations, man. Better known as FMB Monster, the back-to-back -back champ. And, and when you know professional athletes win a championship, they often say, "I'm going to Disney World." You're literally going to Disney World. You booked your ticket to Orlando. You got it right here, man. What's this feeling like? It's one of the greatest feelings. I'm, I'm just so happy. I, I put in so much work, so much lab work, and it just paid off. So I'm just so happy right now. Were you expecting that game, that championship game, to be so defensive? Uh, I, I knew it was going to be a tough game. Uh, he's a good player. He improved so much. I played him before, and he just this game, he was just, he was, on, he was just so good. He improved. When you put your team together, and you were getting ready for this event at Levi's Stadium. 
Did you envision Bo Jackson kicking so many field goals in the championship game? <laughs> uh, kind of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. Why not? Uh, okay, what's the key to being successful in Orlando? Obviously, you're there. The next step is to reach the top eight and make it to the Super Bowl in Minnesota. Um, I'm, I'm very confident I'm able to do that. Last year, I came in second place. This time, I'm going to uh, bring the bell home. So. You're representing us and all of uh, everybody here, the 49ers. Uh, we're proud of, to have you as our champion. Best of luck and uh, uh, congratulations again. Thank you. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you, Joe. Congratulations.